Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in a few of my Avada videos that I've uploaded, I've mentioned how I really would like to have compatibility of something like the DJI RC Pro with the DJI Avada. Now, whether DJI will make it compatible or not, who knows, but for those of you who do want to fly the Avada with a traditional phone, looking at a screen instead of the goggles, there is kind of a workaround that you can do. It's not very convenient, and uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. I went out a couple weeks ago and did a test flight with this setup. But the reason why I think it would be a great idea is just for the fact that you can't always fly with the goggles according to many regulations in many countries. If you're going to be flying with goggles, you do have to have a spotter with you. So having compatibility with something like the RC Pro and just flying it like a normal drone, just using the screen that's built into it as your FPV feed, I think would be beneficial and I know myself I would probably fly it quite a bit like that. Of course there would be limitations just like when using the motion controller most likely you wouldn't be able to fly in manual mode and a few other things. Now in the meantime if you do want to fly the Avada just by looking at a screen instead of using the goggles there is a little bit of a workaround you can do. As you can see I have a mount here this is just 3D printed I think I got it on eBay uh, they might be available on Amazon as well. I will include a link down in the description of this video. But as you can see here, this mount just clips onto the FPV controller, the version 2 controller, and just clips down on in. And then at this point, all you have to do is mount your phone. Unfortunately, we do have to power on the goggles because you will need the goggles in order to fly like this. So let's go ahead, we'll turn them on. Now, depending on what phone you have, you're either going to be using a lightning cable or a USB-C cable plug it into the phone and then we'll attach the other end to the goggles the USB-C port there right by the power port and then we'll just go ahead and launch the fly app so as you can see now we have a full FPV feed mounted right on our controller and we can now just go ahead and fly the Avada just like a traditional drone a couple things to note here first of all this is not touch screen so you can't change any settings so any settings you need to change you'll still have to do with the goggles as mentioned you do have to have the goggles powered on and close by so you can attach it so it's not a very convenient setup by any means the other thing to keep in mind is that you will have a lot of latency so if you're going to be trying to go through little gaps or racing around at a high rate of speed I don't know if that's really recommended in a setup like this but I did take it out for a test flight the other day just to see how feasible it was to use a setup like this so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that footage now. Okay, so we got everything set up right here and we're going to do a quick flight with the new mount. And just to see if this is even feasible, how well it works. It's quite a pain because we've got all these cables everywhere plugged into our goggles. You know, so it's not super convenient, but it might work enough until DJI, if DJI makes one of their other controllers compatible. If you have to fly line of sight, perhaps you don't have a spotter, and you just want to kind of fly it like a traditional drone. Now I also have the Horizon Steady enabled in the settings, and that way it'll give us more of a traditional drone look with a stabilized horizon. So anyways, let's just go, we'll put it up in the air. I'm not going to go too far until I get comfortable, and uh, we'll see how it works. Now I'm just doing some quick turning here, basically checking the latency. And I think that's actually quite fine. I don't really notice any kind of huge delay. So let's uh, go for a flight here. Now you still get that wobbling which can throw you off a little bit. But that should all be stabilized in the, uh, the recorded video on the memory card. And of course, you know, using an iPhone, you have that issue of it getting dim. But so far... It looks just fine. Let's go a little bit faster here. So yeah, actually that works quite well. I could see everything clearly. Now, you know, using a phone like this, you're not uh, able to see as much of the fine detail, I guess you could say, like little branches and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is totally doable. I don't know if I'll be doing any kind of extreme gapping, you know, with this setup, but uh, if you're just out trying to film some cinematic footage, a setup like this will work just fine. Plus you have that peace of mind that if you do happen to crash, there's a good chance your drone is going to be just fine. Whoa, yeah, there we go. Yeah, see in the goggles, those trees came up pretty quick I think just because of the wide field of view in the goggles you can really uh, really see that a little sooner but 
yeah, it works okay. Now, I don't know if I will fly in sport mode or manual like this. Definitely not. But, um, you know, just grabbing some content like this. If you need, it looks like it'll work just fine. Slow her down a little bit. Yeah, see it's here. Got a little hesitant because I couldn't really see some of these small twigs. If I was um, wearing the goggles, I would have been able to see them no issues at all. So that is something definitely to keep in mind. But big openings like this, you know, everything is just fine. You'll be able to see what you're doing. So yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll probably just bring it in for a landing now. Just wanted to do a quick test just to see what the feasibility of this mount is and how well it works. Yeah, so this mount here surprisingly worked quite well. So I would say yeah, if you are looking for a solution to fly line of sight with just a traditional screen, this is definitely something that you may want to consider. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.